all about the clap back. Get your boss whack, premieres funeral on Snapchat. Ha! You now tuned into the bad guy. Fisk you, Nick. Soldier. Fisk you, Nick. Soldier. Fisk you, Nick. Soldier. What's good, y'all? Fist Vegas, the hardest force in sports. Go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe to the Fist Skew. You know why you at it. Y'all know what time it is. If you ain't with it, you best get with it. Now let's rock. Listen, hit that sub button. Hit that sub button. Join this Fist Unit army and get Fist Unit tough. You understand me? KD, you pussy, son. You soft. LeBron would never let this happen. You see, this is what y'all need to understand. All right, and, 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 I'm, and I'm with the shit tonight. I'm with the shits tonight because I normally sleep right now. But I stayed up past my bedtime to make sure I saw this game. All right, I, I stayed up past my bedtime, so I'm cranky right now. LeBron was in the East and went to eight straight finals. I'm going to say it again. LeBron was in the East and from 2011... All the way to 2019, he went to the finals. And he didn't always have a super team. Kevin Love was hurt. Kevin Love and Kyrie were hurt one year. One year, he took George Hill and Trisha Thompson to the finals. LeBron James, for eight straight seasons in the East, went to the NBA finals. Four of them had Kyrie Irving punk ass on the team, too. What I'm trying to say is, this is the second straight year Kevin Durant is going to be in the East and fail to get to the finals. He needs to be held accountable. He needs to be held accountable. And I don't want to hear none of this bullshit. Oh, well, the East was soft for LeBron. No, nigga. LeBron made them niggas look soft. Oh, the, the, the Mark DeRose is an MVP. And he made DeRose and the Lowry look soft. He made them Paul George Pacer teams with Hibbert and David West. He made them look soft, bruh. He made a 60-win Hawk team look soft. He bullied Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown and Gordon Hayward and all them and Isaiah Thomas. The Celtics teams that LeBron had to play were way better than this shit. LeBron did that. He bullied KG and Paul Pearson. He got them niggas up out of here. What I'm trying to say is... Can we just accept the fact that LeBron James is the GOAT and he went the eight straight finals and that shit needs to be admired? Can we accept that? Because I'm watching Kevin Durant and y'all like to tell me that KD's better than LeBron. Why KD, why KD struggling so much? Nobody cared when LeBron lost Kyrie and Kevin Love. Nobody cared. LeBron still dragged niggas to the finals. Oh, but James Harden wasn't healthy. Kyrie was hurt. His toe was on the line. He would have beat. Y no, nigga, he didn't beat Giannis. He didn't beat him. He about to lose to this light-skinned nigga, Jason Tatum. We done with the Kevin Durant shit. We done. This dude went 0 for 10 in the second half, B. He went 0 for 10. Kyrie, you stunk it up too. Like, and you know another thing. Speaking of Kyrie Irving, I need to get something off my chest. I'm preaching tonight. Y'all gonna get this word tonight. Y'all gonna get this. Russell Westbrook is better than Kyrie. When Russell Westbrook had Kevin Durant, they were religiously in the in, in the NBA Conference Finals or the Finals. They had a 3-1 lead and KD choked in the fourth quarter versus Golden State. We all saw it. Russell Westbrook gave force-fed KD the ball the last five minutes of the game. Go check it out. KD disappeared. When Russ was on the team with KD, he didn't have these problems. They were consistent. They habitually won. Russ is a point guard. He's a floor general. He gets people involved. You don't average 12 assists in a season and don't get people involved. You know what the number one problem on the Nets is? Those of y'all who don't know basketball, they don't have a point guard. Kyrie Irving dribbles and looks for his own shot at all times. That nigga dribbled into a double team in game one and then kicked it out to KD with two seconds left and he couldn't get a good shot off. Ain't that what y'all used to hate about Russell Westbrook? Oh, Russell Westbrook, he drill, he shoots too much. He, he, he does too much. He's selfish. What do you think Kyrie Irving is? 
Why do y'all like this little nigga? Kyrie Irving flipping off the media. Kyrie Irving flipping off fans and telling fans to SMD and doing all this extra shit. And y'all don't say nothing. Oh yeah, it's good to get it's good that he goes at the fans. It's good that he fights. It's, no, it's not. If Russ did that, y'all be on his ass, bro. This is the shit that gets me. Can we just admit the fact that Steph Curry is better than Kyrie? Steph Curry better than him. So today, all I heard about was, oh, uh, Tracy McGrady and shit. Talk about some Kyrie and KD, the most skilled combo ever. Better than LeBron and Wade and, and better than MJ and Pippen. Nigga, please. When MJ and Pippen get bullied like this. When LeBron and Wade lose in the first round. I wait. LeBron and Wade went to the finals four straight years. What are we talking about? Six rings from Pippen and Jordan. Curry and Durant, two rings, three finals appearances. You, you, you'll you get what I'm trying to say, right? Kevin Durant, you played yourself. You should have stayed in Golden State. Or you should have stayed with OKC because that was the year you got Oladipo. Could have had Oladipo, Russ, and you probably would have beat Golden State. This nigga KD, bro, I don't understand this shit. This nigga went and chose Kyrie over James Harden. You know what this team is missing? James Harden. They're missing a distributor. This offense looks stagnant. It's ISO KD or it's ISO Kyrie, and that's all they do. You want to know why Boston's locking them up? You know why Boston's defending them so well? Because they don't run any sets. They don't have an offense. It's ISO game. They need Ben Simmons. They need a real point guard. They need something. But they're not going to win like this. They're not. Shout out to that light-skinned nigga Tatum putting in work, playing defense. Shout out to the Boston Celtics as a, as a staff label and mother effing crew because they walked them down. Niggas was down 20 points in the first. They walked them down. They walked the Nets down, and KD and Calvary let it happen. Is it, um, nah, we preaching tonight. You getting this message. Everybody listening to this video, I want to get an amen right now. Because at the end of the day, they need to be held accountable. This is not okay. Y'all told me KD was the best player in basketball. That's what y'all told me. Y'all told me, oh, KD is an assassin. KD is a fin What? Huh? Nigga needed a 73 win team to get wins, bruh. Stop. Golden State, they doing fine without KD. LeBron with the done won a title and went to three more finals since Kyrie left. Make it make sense. When LeBron had Kyrie, they ain't never struggling in the first round. When KD had Russ, they ain't never struggling in the first round. Translation, what I'm trying to say is these two niggas ain't shit. And they deserve each other because they both suckers. And they get what they deserve. A coward dies a thousand deaths. A real nigga die but one. Remember that. That's it. That's all. Subscribe to the unit if you rockin' with me. My name is Fist Vegas, and I approve this message.